This $30 million program, we hope, touches 10,000 individuals between now and, let's say, 2030 to so working with partners like the Pentagon and the SkillBridge program, where we've been able to help military leaders transition in to civilian careers. Through SkillBridge, I was able to make connections, and I think that that was what made it easier for me to get the role that I have now, um, and I really love it. There's so many different stories of veterans getting out of the service, and my interpretation of it, not finding their purpose, I found mine. Working closely with that targeted approach, I think we've, we've understood better what we can do to drive student interest, what we can do to drive student retention, and ultimately that leads to completion. During my power plant semesters, we did a lot of projects on the engines. It's helped out a lot having those engines because it was able to let me transfer um, the knowledge that I gained in school into the engines that I work on at work. This industry-wide effort to not only identify the people who want to have a manufacturing career, but giving them the opportunities through co-ops, internships, apprenticeships, to develop the skills. And the good thing about aerospace, there are plenty of job opportunities as far as the eye can see.